With all the festivities and developments that took place in the pre-wedding in Jamnagar, yes, it still blows my mind that this isn't even their main event. It's bound to happen that there is going to be some drama of what transpired. The three Khans dancing to Natu Natu, Akon performing Chamak Challo, Rihanna probably giving her most underwhelming live performance, and Diljit Dosanjh stealing the show. What eventually took over the headlines was when Shah Rukh Khan requested Ram Charan to join them on stage to perform the song and said as many random words that he could in order to somehow showcase his knowledge or lack of regarding his perception of what represents a Telugu man. See, I understand that this is said in jest and Ram Charan's makeup artist Zeba Hassan walking away because she found the same offensive caused quite the stir. But I wondered why there was such a visceral reaction online to the said statement. Is this reflective of the years of ignorance that is showcased by the most popular actors of the country and just a reminder that they should do better? Is the ignorance of us clubbing every state under the bracket of South India and considering it as one tiring at this point? Is this also a case of a very bright and educated man like like Shah Rukh Khan who should just concede regarding some matters where he may not just be as aware and educated as we would like to believe and most importantly are we just getting our panties in a knot and making a meal out of something that wasn't as serious I remember seeing the press conference of Shah Rukh Khan during the promotions of Chennai Express where he was asked about the portrayal of Tamil characters in the film and how the caricaturous portrayals might be offensive if you have if you do claim uh, that you have liked the work that I've done in the last 22 years I think you would uh, grant me that much leeway that I would never go out of my way to make fun of any ethnicity or language or any situation or disability um I've never done that in my films and if I have it's been uh, uh, without intention it might have been a genuine mistake and I would correct it straight away while the defense of SRK regarding the same is to present his credentials and years of experience it still does not discount the fact that the character portrayals of Shekhar Subramanyam in Ravan and more or less the entire plot of Chennai Express stems from a lot of ignorance my upbringing my film making uh, my belief in entertainment is very clear that you do not in any which way make fun of something that you don't know well enough of Shahrukh may mean well but it's important to be objective about the ludicrous portrayals that give a cartoonish impression of people from a specific state you look at the case of Shekhar Subramanyam from Ravan and the attempt at showcasing a lovable nerd comes across as cartoonish and it's less naive and more buffoonish than anything else the character sporting a god awful curly wig finds himself dropping his keys in a woman's cleavage in his introduction scene correcting his wife that it's not condom condom it's kunjum kunjum is found having noodles with curd because that's the connotation of any tamil person they are just obsessed with curd and is holistically just an amalgamation of bad ideas and a sorry attempt at portraying a man of a specific culture not to forget satish shah playing a random neighbor called ayyar who just does pelvic thrust for no goddamn reason i have also realized that when shahrukh's characters and their identity has a lot to do with the state he comes from a lot of the times it's ex- execution always misses the mark where the performance basically the accent dialect and mannerisms border on being too performative or over the top ravan's biggest demerit as one looks back at its quality is this forced attempt at comedy by using shekhar's roots as a crutch for gags versus a film that could have just been a compelling sci-fi film that integrates indian gods taking the shape of modern day superheroes while chennai express was a massive hit for hindi cinema if you ask anyone from tamil nadu on what they think about its quality of storytelling and the themes that it uses for comedy they simply hate it hate may be a strong word but i have legitimate friends from kerala a state that the film is not even about who speak about getting bullied in delhi where the students mock them by calling them chinna express hilaunga hilaunga mundi hilaunga dosa khaunga idli khaunga mundi hilaunga dosa khaunga ab i'm okay Every supporting character sporting a vibhuti on their forehead wearing a lungi as Deepika shows off the most over the top accent in a hugely popular role by the way and something for which she is still regarded as having the best comic timing while wearing andhra style costumes or malayali kasabs the hugely popular lungi dance is almost the idea of what an ignorant north indian equates to south india as it became also the anthem of sorts for quite some time lungis coconuts saying amma appa ayyo rama and rajnikanth 
Prashant as a representation of a section of society from India is just low hanging fruit effort versus a genuine interest in their eccentricities and culture. Again, I say this Shah Rukh may mean well as the nuanced individual we know him as, but the examples of whenever he has ventured into portraying characters that are not his wheelhouse or something he has not grown up with, it always gives the notion of being ignorant. This is a problem that has existed for years when you see the ignorance of Hindi film creators. You look at examples like Mithun Chakrabarti from Agnipath playing the role of Krishnan Ayyar M. A. Naryal Paniwala, Mahmood and Padosan playing Master Pillai. I sometimes equate the angry reactions on social media stemming from the years of frustration where, for example, where someone from Andhra Pradesh has to remind someone from the north that they don't speak Andhra but it's the Telugu language, or that Madrasi is a derogatory term, or someone from Bangalore has to say it's not Kannad, it's Kannada. It's as basic, but it's the years of reiterating the same thing again and again. Goa, New Delhi, Bombay. ఇలాంటి చోట్లకు ఫంక్షన్స్ కి వెళ్తేనండి తెలుగు వాళ్ళ గుర్తింపు లేదు గోవా ఫిలిం ఫెస్టివల్ గేలు నాకు మహానటు రామారావు గారి బొమ్మ లేదు అక్కడ అక్కడ నాగేశ్వర్ గారి బొమ్మ లేదు మా మాట సరే సరి ఇది మన గుర్తింపు It's also important to acknowledge that these problems are not exclusive to Hindi cinema, but we have seen several offensive and ignorant themes being spilled out from other industries across India too. Whether it is the fair skin obsession of Tamil and Telugu cinema and making most of the women play flower pot roles where they are mainly admired for their physical appearance or the throwaway jokes that are targeted towards the hero's friend who is not fair enough. Telugu cinema and its commercial outings have had several themes of stalking and violence being passed off as comedy or romance. Something that Tamil and Malayalam cinema is slowly venturing out of, but this is to further enunciate that every industry has its share of themes that should be called out and criticized. In a country where we have such a variety of cultures, languages and customs, it's bound to happen that we aren't as aware of every fine detail of context, especially when it's regarding individuals who have been born and brought up with the finer details. I think if we genuinely come from a place of wanting to know more, of curiosity and genuinely wanting to educate one's self with sensitivity we can truly become an artistic global powerhouse versus now where we are constantly fighting amongst ourselves totally not being conducive to really reaching our united potential and that was the video guys write down in the comments below what you thought about the comments and the years of well stereotyping and ignorance that is spilled through storytelling please don't forget to follow me on instagram the handle is right in front of you follow me at jammy pants4 also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead thank you for watching